all right yo welcome back to another video my name is jamal lee and this is blessed investments thank you for clicking on this video but let's get into it so for today's video i'm going to be talking about my first impressions of the z fold 3 and just using it you know fresh out the box for the first time so the first thing i want to talk about is just the, the the build quality and like how sturdy it feels you know picking it up for the first time holding it in my hand it feels so um sturdy compared to the last year's model it feels like like you know just more refined like the z fold 2 was nice but the, the 3 is like it really feels good in your hands it feels like something that you you know you're not scared to drop you're not scared that it will break or just you know random things will happen to it like it feels very sturdy i like the design i like the the way that they made it smaller they made it a lot more light for me personally it's lighter than the s21 ultra and it's just easy to hold in the hand uh for me my hands are decently sized so i can hold the the phone with one hand when it's opened but overall the design is just really nice it feels really good in the hands uh, i like the the matte back as opposed to the shiny glossy back uh, that you see often on phones and the hinge for me personally is one thing that i really like because it's it's not it's still there but it's not bulging out like the z fold 2 like the z fold 2's hinge is pretty noticeable it's pretty thick and big when you look at the phone um from the front or the back but this hinge is it's a lot more flush with the device and it feels very nice the camera system you know is is a lot smaller it's just nice like it's just it's there but it's not necessarily there it's not like saying to the world like hey i'm here it's just there it's built into the device and it's very sleek and smooth and it's just a nice device overall so that's my first impression of like picking it up so using it immediately when i first you know turned it on and started using it and stuff like that the front screen uh overall you you feel the difference in terms of 120 hertz you feel uh how smooth and nice it is just to have that on the front screen and the z4 2 is stuck at 60 hertz so you don't get that nice refresh rate and it, it really makes a big difference for me personally like i can feel the difference between 120 and 60 and 90 and all that so having 120 on the front screen really felt nice it, it was just a better experience using the phone felt a lot more smoother than what i'm used to on the z4 2 and yeah it was just nice nice The S Pen feels really good too. It feels like, you know, like any S Pen that you would use on any Samsung product, like the, the Tab S7 or the Note 20 Ultra, Note 20. It feels as good as those devices. Like, I, in fact, I feel like this, this is probably my favorite S Pen. Uh, even compared to the S21 Ultra S Pen, this S Pen fe really feels comfortable in the hands. And it's, I think it's a good size, you know, it's not too big, it's not too small, but it, it just fits really nice, uh, the Fold Edition S Pen. and yeah it feels really nice just using the s pen on such a big screen and this is something that we we wanted you know people wanted this for a while just to be able to use the s pen on on a phone like the z fold series to have a, a phone and tablet combination in your pocket where if you're an artist or somebody who edits photos or you just want to doodle you can take out your phone fold it into a mini tablet and now you can do that on the go wherever you are so the S Pen added to this phone, it's a really good addition and it feels really nice. But I will say that my initial um, use of it, I was a little bit scared of using it and pushing fully on the screen using the pressure sensitivity that is built into the pen because like it's still a folding screen, right? It's still folding glass and coming from the Z Fold 2, you know, I was still kind of scared to use it to its full extent. But after a while, I got kind of used to it. And you know, the screen itself, the inner display is, uh, a lot more sturdier it feels like more like glass this time around and samsung promised that the screen protector is 80 percent stronger and it's just a stronger build overall everything is stronger about this device more durable and it has water resistance which is amazing so now it's like you don't even have to baby this device so when using the s pen you can rest assured that it's going to function properly and yeah so as i used it more i got more used to it and i wasn't as scared using the s pen as i was as at the first time so yeah the s pen is great and the durability is, is a is a plus and on top of that they're offering samsung care plus in canada this year which is something that the z fold 2 did not get at all like when i got the z fold 2 
I wanted to get, you know, Samsung Care Plus because I want to keep that device protected. I know it's a more fragile device than other devices. So I want to make sure it's protected just in case anything did happen to it. Because there was times where on Reddit, you know, people are, their screen is cracking randomly for no reason. So I want to have extra protection. But in Canada, I could not buy that. It's not offered on the website for the Z Fold 2 at all, or it hasn't been offered for the Z Fold 2 at all um, for me when I checked. So I wasn't able to get extra protection. So that was a big downfall downside for that device i was really disappointed because yeah i'm worried about the device right it doesn't have water resistance no dust resistance and it's just fragile compared to other phones so the fact that they didn't offer care plus on that was a downside but this phone has that right they are offering care plus on it but then at the same time when you get the phone they give you a year of care plus for free which is amazing for me because that's like two things that i wanted right i wanted to get extra protection and I wanted the phone to be cheaper. And now they're giving Care Plus a year for free when you pre-order. So that's amazing right there. That's that's good value. So that, again, eases my mind a little bit more in terms of durability and just, uh, you know, worrying that this device might fail one day or something like that. So the durability and Care Plus is a, is a big bonus for me. Just using the device itself, compared to the Z Fold 2, it's not too much different, to be honest. The experience is pretty similar. It's pretty much the same, to be honest. Like, you're not going to really notice the speeds of Snapdragon 888, especially in Samsung software. I feel like One UI has a lot of, like, slower animations, and they're not as smooth as other animations on other devices. So, like, you're not going to really notice the speed of, of a new chip just by using the phone. But when you start to do like more specific things or more hard tasks, that's when you see the, the benefits of having a stronger uh, processor. So the experience is pretty much the same in terms of like yeah, how it feels to use it, how it feels to navigate the device, um, you know, open apps and close apps and things like that. But yeah, just in terms of like longevity, having the new processor is always a bonus. But yeah, that's basically it. Like the S Pen support, water resistance, uh, more durability, Samsung Care Plus in Canada, and more longevity in terms of the power and the specs. And yeah, so it's it's still something that is, is amazing and innovative. I also forgot to, to mention the under display camera. And see, the thing is, I forgot to mention it. And that's kind of a testament of how good it actually is like you, you truly forget it's there when you're actually using the device you forget it's there like obviously if you want to look for it you'll find it you'll see it and you'll notice it but when you're using the device you're immersed in whatever you're doing on it the screen the camera truly disappears like it's it's for me personally like i don't really take it in when i'm doing stuff and like at certain angles you're gonna see the camera regardless like you always see it from certain angles like if it's on the table and you're looking at it from like a different angle then you'll see it but if you have it like in your in front of your face like you normally use a phone or a tablet you're not going to see the camera uh that much and it also depends on what's on your screen like if it's a white screen you'll see the dots but if you're watching a video or something like that you're not going to really notice it like you see as you can see right here you know watching some good old paw patrol and you don't really see it you can't really notice it too much unless you like truly look for it but when you're watching videos and stuff like that it's it's pretty covered and i appreciate that but i will say that the quality knockoff is um uh it's a significant change like i don't know if you would feel comfortable doing video calls on this camera because of how bad it is you might just have to close the device and and do it on a smaller screen but that kind of defeats the purpose of being a multitasking beast so maybe you'll accept the compromises and use the worst camera but uh, in terms of just Im immersing in the content and, and not really noticing the camera, it's it's really good. It does its job and it's actually, it's amazing technology. You know, it's a new innovation, uh, especially on a folding phone. And yeah, it's a great experience, but the quality of the camera is a knockoff. So it, you really got to pick your poison with that. But yeah, that's basically the experience with the Z Fold 3. And it's been a good one so far. Stay tuned for a full in-depth review and just specific reviews too, like our in-depth review of the S Pen, in-depth review of the cameras, especially with this, you know, people are saying the camera is still bad, blah, 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 still the same as the Z Fold 2. We're gonna actually put that to the test and see how good it truly is compared to some of the best of the best. So stay tuned for videos like that and a lot more on the way. But that's it for now, we out, peace.